Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! Eggs! Eggs, guys! Eggs, like... Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so happy! I'm so excited, guys! We have eggs! Whoa! We've got to celebrate this by all means. Come on, come on! Yeah, yeah! Did you just see that? Okay, did you just see that? Whoa! Okay! A little bit more, a little bit more. Oh. Guys, that's a toast to the test of success. Finally, an egg on the farm. <laughs> Come on! This is so beautiful. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Dr. Daniel here, a practicing medical doctor. Did I just say that? No. A retired medical doctor who is very passionate about farming. Poultry farming. Everything to do with farming. Being a doctor is so cool. But being a farmer, I think is cooler. Yeah, we actually do eat eggs. Raw eggs. Do you see this? I actually just ate it and finished it. Is eating eggs dangerous? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think it's dangerous. According to the CDC guidelines, it's safe to eat eggs. The risk of getting infection through eating raw eggs is very low and you maintain almost all the nutrients instead of cooking them. So once in a while I get to eat raw eggs just like I did for this one. Very tasty. I just gave you guys a very brief medical lesson. You'll have to pay me, right? So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, come on, what are you waiting for? If you even have any interest in farming of any kind, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell. That way you never miss out on an upload. I can imagine you're wondering why in the world I sound so happy. Well, for a farmer like me and for farmers, if you're a farmer out there, especially for chickens and layers, you'll understand that the day you get your very first egg is like the very best day ever. Oh, you feel so much joy, like just picking up the chickens and looking at them, giving you the eggs. By the way, guys, these chickens are so docile. They are so submissive, like you'll just pick it and it will stay here. You can see it over here. It will stay on my legs, of course it will run down after some time. But it has no problem staying here even while I'm talking. So, it's a very, very, very happy day for you to actually get these chickens. And they are laying for you eggs. So much joy! At that moment you forget all the problems you've had in the past. For example, now, at this moment, I forget about all the sickness that I suffered with some of the birds dying. I forget about all the disease. I forget about the financial hassle of buying the feeds and not bringing in any money because at the moment, the money is going to start coming. At this moment, you forget about, for example, my day one old birds dying, me losing over 150 chicks. Oh, oh my God, all the joy. I'm so excited. It feels so good, guys. Just look at all the birds surrounding me. Like, just look at all of them around me. Like, I could just go down right now and they'll just start pecking at me, you know? All around me, they are so excited, they are so happy. It feels so good. And knowing that I'm actually making money, finally I'm going to be collecting eggs, I'm going to be selling all these eggs. It feels so exciting, guys. Come on, guys, come on, come on. Woo! You love me? You love me? You love me? Come on, just fly a little bit for the crowd. Woo! So now with the new age and the new level comes new problems and new things to think about. You know, in the past, I wasn't thinking about selling the eggs. I wasn't thinking about the production rate. Now that the birds have started to lay, that's what I'm thinking about. How many eggs am I, am I going to be getting? Um, I'm not worried about the market because guys, <laughs> the market does exist, at least for me. The eggs are going to be taken even before I think about it. So that's not a worry for me. I'm so glad, I'm so happy that the birds are now laying. And so this is the 19th week, but the birds actually did start to lay in the 18th week. Actually, exactly on the day that they made 19 weeks, you know, they started to lay. And that makes me so, so happy because that means I did certain things right. That means the breed of the birds was actually good because I told you guys that I imported these birds in from Hungary. So that means the breed of the birds was good. There was no worry about the breed of the birds. Guys, the birds are really heavy, like they are heavy. I can feel them. This should be something close to like 1.8 or 2 kilograms. Not sure exactly how many, but it should be something very close to that. They are really, really heavy. Come on, leave my microphone. Come on, come on. 
Yeah, but the buds are really, really heavy and that makes me really happy. So it means that the feeds that I was giving the chicks were okay. Um, they were nutritious enough. This time I didn't have lots of problems with buying feeds like I did last time because the feeds have actually been in stock. The commercial feeds that I'm using have actually been present in stock. Number two, they haven't been as expensive. Uh, for example, the maize that I'm using to feed the chickens, I bought it around half the price that I was buying them for most of the time that I was using for the previous birds. So I haven't been having problems with the feeds. I haven't had problems with getting the birds to grow up. Now, the biggest problem that I faced this time was the diseases. Woo! Diseases, guys! So guys, this time I have really, really suffered with diseases. Oh my God, I have suffered with diseases this time. If you guys do remember, fall typhoid. Oh, it almost took my entire flock. I lost over 200 birds, if I remember very well. I was actually at some point scared that I was going to lose my entire flock, you know, 60% of the birds due to fall typhoid. I also had infectious coriza on the farm. So I was thinking, what on earth is going on? Now, the previous lot of birds didn't really get sick. No, they didn't. I tried to do my very best with the infection prevention, but my previous lot of birds started to lay eggs at 22 weeks, actually coming to 23 weeks. And the last time, guys, I was broke. Like, at, by the time I got to 22 weeks, I was super broke. Buying feeds for the chickens was so hard. So, so hard. I really suffered with them. With the current ones, I haven't suffered with them financially, thank God. And they have started to lay eggs at an earlier time. You know, 18 weeks. This should be the ideal time. 18, 19 weeks. That should be the ideal time. The longest you should go should be 21 weeks. Not 22 to 23 weeks like I did the last time. So ideally, suffering from these diseases affected the flock. Of course, there is no way it's not going to affect the flock the productivity. I'm not certain if it will affect the overall productivity in the end, like the pick laying and the percentage. But what I know is that the uniformity of laying has been affected. Because usually when the birds start to lay, they pick up really, really quickly. That's because they have grown up uniformly. You know, they have the same average weights and things like that. For me, because some of the birds got really sick and others didn't get like super sick, the ones that didn't get really sick, picked up their weight quicker. The ones that got very sick probably grew slower and so because of that at this point which is probably a week later from the point of starting to lay I'm at around 5.6 percent percentage lay. After one week of laying you should be at around 10 percent. Mine are still at around 6 percent and that's because you know the birds really took long to pick up the laying and I totally understand. Totally, totally understand. So the uniformity of laying has been affected. Hopefully that will not affect the long-term production of the birds, you know. How long they lay, how many eggs they lay, how big the, e the eggs are. Hopefully that will not be affected. But currently uh, we are at around 5.6%. The birds are laying the eggs and that's a really, really good thing. So now when you look around in the background, I hope you guys can see them. Yeah, you can see them. I have quite a number of laying nests. I have one, two three, four laying nests. And I know I've been quite lazy at making these laying nests because I didn't get the time, I wasn't available. As some of you guys have rightly pointed out, I've been spending lots and lots of my time on the other farm because we are trying to build out things. You know, this one is more or less settled, yeah? So we are just trying to build out things on the other farm uh, to prepare for the parent stock that's coming in. You know, just building out things and that takes quite some time. But yeah, I'm going to need to make more laying nests. Actually, we are already making the laying nest. There's someone outside the house, you know, outside already making the laying nest because I'm going to need around seven laying nests. I already have four, but I'm going to need around seven laying nests for me to, you know, have a number which is sufficient for these birds, for all of them to lay. So right now it's not a big worry because we are still at 5% laying. 5% is not too much. They can use these nests. You know, I can see most of the nets are actually still empty. But uh, I can use the current laying nest and we are building out the other laying nest. By the end of today, I'm going to have almost, actually not almost, I'm going to have all the laying nests ready to be put inside the chicken house and then, ta -da! the birds are going to continue laying. So guys, yeah, that was it. I can't afford to spend lots of time here. I've got to go and sell the eggs. Start making some money. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. This feels really, really good. Thanks guys for watching. In case of any questions, any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Lots of love. Bye-bye. See you next time.